Hello everyone, I'm Christina McCauley. And I'm Kyle Kittleson. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Orange Slices. We have another terrific show for you with more great slices of life from right here in the OC. Next, Christina takes a road trip all the way up to the port of Los Angeles to catch up with a Huntington Beach man who's leading the charge to clean up our coastal waters. Check it out. look into the state of the oceans, the worse I feel. Huntington Beach resident Kurt Lieber is on a mission. 90% of the large fish are gone. That's your, your sharks, your tuna. that kind of a decline happening in the environment, I wanted to see what I could do to at least halt it, if not re help the animals rebound. In the year 2000, Kurt founded a nonprofit marine conservation group called Ocean Defenders Alliance. He brings together volunteer divers to clean up dangerous ocean debris, from abandoned fishing gear to shipwrecks. when Kurt first moved to Huntington in the early 80s. As a diver, he was witnessing dramatic changes in the undersea landscape. As soon as I got here, and then El Nino came in and wiped out most of the kelp. 90% of the kelp died, and it wasn't coming back. So in 1982, that happened, and I wanted to find out why it wasn't coming back. Over a 1,000 species called the kelp forest home. But this small sea animal, the sea urchin, has a voracious appetite and can wipe out entire habitats. Not long ago, this familiar creature kept the urchins in check, but not anymore. Otters used to be here and they used to eat the urchins, but without them here, there's, there's no predator left. So the urchins are just wiping out the kelp forest. And uh, there's, it's so bad, there's big areas where they're just called uh, urchin barrens. Another of the sea urchins' main predators is the lobster. But their numbers have also declined as more and more wind up on the dinner table. In both commercial and sport fishing, lobsters are caught in traps. But too often, traps are lost or left behind. So finding and removing abandoned lobster traps is key to bringing back the kelp forest. So I'm not only getting rid of the traps and not allowing these animals to die in there, they're out there eating the urchins. And without those traps in the water as well, it prevents whale entanglements and dolphin entanglements. It takes a special team of volunteers to do this work. Sometimes the job is removing abandoned lobster traps. Other times, it's cleaning up entire shipwrecks. We started working on this wreck called the Infidel. It's off of Catalina. It's in 150 feet of water. It was a squid boat that went down with about a 9,000 pound net fully deployed. So it had all kinds of squid in it, as well as uh, squid in the hold. So when it went down, that net was continually killing animals. A job like this takes a highly skilled diver. It's Kurt's job to recruit a team of experts who are willing to work as volunteers. It's, a, it's always a challenge, but uh, the, the dive community has skill sets. They're out there, they're the ones that are seeing all this stuff happening. Uh, we like to say, you know, it, it's sight unseen. You don't see it, you don't know what's going on. But the divers are under the water and seeing it. So the majority of them get that and want to do something with their skills. So we have varied levels of, of uh, skill sets that divers have. I'm just a recreational diver, but we also have uh, rebreather divers as well as technical divers. And we utilize them on different depths or different complex, uh, complex jobs that we have to go for. Dee Summers doesn't scuba dive at all. 
But the ocean has always been a huge part of her life, both surfing and fishing. She had been looking for a volunteer opportunity and found the perfect fit as crew aboard the Legacy. If you eat fish, if you're a fisherman uh, or a fisherwoman as I am, you want the ocean to be clean. If you surf, if you sail, you want it to be clean. You don't want the animals getting caught in the traps. You don't want the animals getting caught in the nets. The Alliance is in need of every kind of volunteer with jobs you can work from home, dockside, and of course, out at sea. Although working as a deckhand may not be as thrilling as a diver, Dee says it's just as rewarding. It's super exciting because you're seeing dolphins, you're see, we, have, we had sea lions on the swim step. So you're intimately involved with the ocean and what you're doing both with the crew and the sea life. So you can see the results right then and there. Kurt's main focus is keeping our ocean safe by removing deadly man-made debris. But the Alliance is also committed to reaching out to the public to spread the word about ocean conservation. Education is a big part of what I do. I go around to a lot of schools and talk to kids, uh, dive clubs about what's going on in their local waters. volunteer then donate funds come to one of our fundraisers come on the boat you know enjoy being crew you don't have to have any special skills uh, you probably don't want to get seasick but other than that <laughs> you don't need any special skills they just need someone to help learn more about Ocean Defenders Alliance at oceandefenders.org Hey, welcome back. Great stories today. Did you get to scuba dive with Kurt? No. Those dedicated volunteers are doing serious work and it's way beyond my skill set. 